hello guys so today i'm going to do a video about jj rollins his whole life and history from wikipedia so i hope you enjoy this video and please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below thank you okay so let's go So guys, as you can see, Jerry John Rollins was born on 22nd June 1947 and he died on 12 November 2020. He was a Ghanaian president, a military officer and a politician who led the country from 1981 to 2001 and also for a brief, a brief period in 1979. He led a military junta until 1992, then served two terms as a democratically elected president of Ghana. Rawlings came into power in Ghana as a flight lieutenant of the Ghana Armed Forces, following a coup d'etat in 1979. Prior to that, he led an unsuccessful coup attempted against the ruling military government on 15th May 1979, Jeff, just five weeks before scheduled democratic elections were due to take place. After handing power over to a civilian government, he took back control of the country on, December, on 31st December 1981 as the chairman of the Provisional National Defense Council. PNDC. In 1992, Rawlings resigned from the military, founded the National Democratic Congress, NDC, and became the first president of the Fourth Republic. He was re elected in 19 1996 for four more years. After two terms in office, Senate According to Ghana, Ghanaian constitution, the limit after two terms in office, the limit according to the Ghanaian constitution, Rawlings endorsed his vice president, John Atamels, as the presidential candidate in 2000. Rawlings served as the African Union envoy to, the, to Somalia. He died in November 2020 at the age of 73 and was accorded at accorded a state funeral. Background J John Jerry Rollins John was born on 22nd June 1947. In Accra, Ghana, to Victoria Abotwi and Anlo, and Anlo Ewe from Zelepo Kope in Keta, and James Ramsey John, a chemist from Castle Douglas in Kirkwood, Brightshire, Scotland. I'm sorry I can't pronounce some of the words, but you can see it for yourself. Rawlings attended Achimota School and the Military Academy at Station. 
Rawlings was married to Nana Kunedu Ajimai, whom is still alive today, whom he met while at Achimota College. They have three daughters, Zanito Rollins, Yas Antwa Rollins, and Amina Rollins, and one son, Kim Marty Rollins. Education and military career. Rollins finished his secondary education at Achimota College in 1967. He joined the Ghana Air Force shortly afterwards. On his application, the military switched his surname John and his middle name Rollins. In March 1968, he was posted to Takradis in Ghana's western region to continue his studies. He got to January 1969 and was commissioned as uh, as an Air Force pilot, winning the converted speed dead trophy as the best cadet in flying the SU SU-7 ground attack supersonic jet aircraft after he was killed in aerobatics. He earned the rank of light lieutenant in April 1978. <laughs> During his service with the Ghana Air Force, Rollins perceived a, de a deterioration a deterioration in discipline and morale due to corruption in Supreme Military Council, into bracket M7C. As promotion brought him into contact with their privileged classes and their social values. <coughs> His view of injustice in society hardened. He was thus regarded with some uneased by, uneased by the M7C. After the 1979 coup, he involved himself with the student community of the University of Ghana, where he developed more leftist ideology through reading and discussion of social political ideas. Rawlings grew disconnected with Ignatius Kutu Echampo's government, which had come had come to power through a coup in January 1972. <laughs> a champion was accused not only for corruption, <laughs> but also maintaining Ghana's dependency on pre-colonial powers in a situation which led to economic decline and impoverishment. Rollins was a part of Free Africa Movement, an underground movement of military officers who wanted to unify Africa through a series of coups. On 15th May 1999, five weeks prior to civilian elections, Rollins and six other soldiers staged a coup against the gov government of General Fred Ekufu, but failed and were arrested by the military. Rollins was publicly sentenced to death in a general court martial and in prison, although his statement on the social injustice that motivated his action won him civilian sympathy. While awaiting execution, Rollins was sprung from custody on 4 June 1979 by a group of soldiers, claiming that the government was corrupt beyond redemption and the new leadership was required for Ghana's development. He led the group in a coup to trust the Ekufu government and the Supreme Military Council. Shortly afterwards, Rollins established and became the chairman of a 50-member Armed Forces Revolutionary Council, into bracket AFRC. 
primarily composed of junior officers. He and the AFRC ruled, ruled for 100 days and arranged the execution by firing squad of eight military officers, inc including General Jose, Joy, Amidum, Roger Feli, and Otuka, as well as three former Ghanaian heads of state, a chapel, a champon, a kufu, and a kwesi, a free fire. These executions were dramatic events in the history of Ghana, which had previously suffered few instances of political violence. Rawlings later implemented a much wilder house cleaning exercise involving the killings and abduction of over 300 Ghanaians. Elections were held on time shortly after the coup. On 24 September 1979, power was peacefully handed over by Rawlings to President Sila Lehman, who whose People National Party into brackets PNP had the support of Nkrumah's followers. Two years later, on, Dece on December te on 31st December 1981, Rawlings asked President Taylor Lehman in a coup d'etat, claiming that civilian rule was weak and the country's economic economy was deteriorating. The killing of the Supreme Court Justices, Cecilia Corante, Ajo, Frede, Sarkodio, and Kojo AJ, a champion. Military officers Major Sam Aqua and Major Dasina Nanto Gam also occurred during the second military rule of Rawlings. However, unlike the 1979 execution, these persons were abducted and killed in secret and it was unclear who was behind the murders. Do, Joshin, Amate, Kwe and four others were convicted of murdering the justices and justices in Aqua and were executed in 1982. Please stay tuned for part two. Peace.